Live here and now. Savor each moment. That is the philosophy of this vast complex that we now discover. In the middle of the woods, the Dolce La Ulpe, an establishment we choose when we need a break in our busy lives to reset our clocks and enjoy the great outdoors with all the facilities on site. One can walk, participate in gym classes, enjoy fitness trails, biking and tennis. Luxury spa, large spaces, elegant and comfortable suites and rooms, the Dolce La Ulpe is the ideal place to spend a weekend in the country, not too far from Brussels if you wanted to go shopping. A perfect address for large companies who wish to host their seminars. The Dolce La Ulpe stands out because of its quality of service. Nothing less than four stars with the key words of attention and kindness for each guest at the resort. We start with a visit to the featured suites and as you can see they are equipped with every comfort imaginable. The concept? Large bay windows that submerge you in nature without having to give up a luxurious day. Large spaces, design decor, oversized bed and technology to remain connected or not. And what is there to say about the Sequoia suite that will delight many with its private living room dining room? And its bathtub with a vintage design and charm. All complete with a view over the vast green landscape. The images speak for themselves. A center of well-being, thermal spa, sauna and traditional hammam worthy of a sultan's palace with a massage on a heated marble table. What makes the Dolce La Ulpe resort particularly seducing is that it hides in its heart one of the most luxurious spas whose reputation speaks for itself. A Cinq Monde spa, a reference in spas and proud feature of the establishment. On the menu, treatments, but more than just treatments, rituals that smell good and take you on a journey, encouraging clients to let go. The Saint Mon Spa at La Hulpe is really nestled in the heart of the Soigne Forest, in a green setting which allows us to welcome guests who are both staying at the hotel or visiting us. One can spend a weekend at the Dolce, enjoying a night here and having treatments. So we have packages that include treatments of an hour, two hours, and we have longer rituals. What is interesting with the Saint Monde is that we conduct treatments that have a ceremonial aspect, are high quality, and help you escape. Saint Mon treatments and rituals take you on voyages to Bangalore in India, Kyoto in Japan, the Polynesian Islands, and even Brazil. So each time it's an invitation to travel. What is trending now here at Saint Mond is an imperial ritual of youth, a two hour ritual where the client will have a preparation treatment, a Japanese aroma bath with flowers. It's a bathtub made of red cedar in which we put fresh rose petals. We massage the scalp with a meditation that prepares the client to receive the massage. The warmth of the bath will relax the muscles and prepare you to receive the massage. We continue with the relaxing back massage that comes from Bangalore in India and follow that with a facial treatment, the Kobe Do, for a smoothing and plumping effect. After a ritual of treatments, one enjoys a relaxing break with a cup of tea near the fountain, or in the lounge, or simply outside. Quick tour of the boutique located at the exit of the spa to buy the Cinq Monde products that were used during the rituals. But careful, the scents are highly addictive, in addition to the concept of products inspired by ancestral cultures and formulae that are free of petrochemicals, silicon or parabens. They instead contain active ingredients of biological, natural and vegetable origin. 
unless you prefer to relax in the pool. When you are hungry, there are a few examples of a refined gastronomy menu that evolves with the seasons at the Brasserie 135. At the entrance of the restaurant, a wall of some very good wines sets the tone for the decor. We certainly appreciate its design and colorful nature, but even more when we discover what joyous culinary delights are in store. Don't be frightened, there's nothing pretentious here, even if it would be justified. With a score of 14 out of 20 from Goy Miyo and three forks in the Michelin Guide. Not satisfied with just being extremely friendly, the head chef has two words on his lips, taste and simplicity. He owes his love of cooking to the talents of his grandmother and the master chefs of his region who trained him. The philosophy, at least what I wish for and I know I'm not the only one to make it happen, is to have something simple, good, quick, and that will please everyone. But that does not mean we lower our expectations. It just means having to recreate each thing we want to have on our plate. A simplicity that we find in his Saint-Jacques Tartare with truffles. It's a Saint-Jacques Tartare. The objective is to stay neutral. Simple products worked simply. It's just three products that are featured, the coulis of peppers, truffles and Saint-Jacques Tartare. The seasoning is quite simple and each time everything is placed to really magnify the products that we want to focus on and really gives a wonderful result, the best possible. Like for this crisp roll of venison and forest mushrooms topped with a slow-cooked soft egg. Here, all the art lies in the cooking of the soft egg, a dish to be tasted on the terrace on a beautiful summer day or during an Indian summer. Everything needs to be well organized. That's why we try to simplify the choice and variety of products that are on the plate, to precisely master the cooking and so that everything is done as well as possible. Feast your eyes on this, turban of sole and lobster with creamy risotto with a confit of leek and crustacean sauce. A little cannelloni could whet your appetite, or more precisely using its given name, cannelloni with beef and veal or gratin with pan-fried perla nera, goose liver and wine sauce. The idea is to have cannelloni, that everyone knows, but to update it with more qualitative products, like beef. But it's Irish meat that's used, with goose foie gras, and not with duck liver, which is often used, precisely to make a difference, but remaining within the simple. As for dessert, the pastry chef gave way to the yuzu trend, a little citrus from Asia that's common in Japan, a hybrid of a wild mandarin and ichang lemon, with a tart flavor, presented as a cream on a crunchy biscuit. We're lucky to have many people around us, because even if I give in to an impulse and the idea I wish to do, the people around me, and really the people around the kitchen, are really looking and are curious to see what's happening around them and what happens in the kitchen around us. At the Brasserie 135, the dishes do not focus on local products, but on good products. A third of the products used are found within a radius of 135 kilometers, which explains the name. The Dolce La Ulpe, an address that music lovers know perfectly since it's a must-see music venue when we want to go to the Toots Jazz Festival that blends young talents with jazz legends in September. These are some of the many reasons why the Dolce La Ulpe has it all, to live the Dolce Vita and is the place to go to be gently pampered. <laughs>